Hello and welcome back to the Teachify videos. As you know, my name is Mickey and today we are doing some more business English. Now what I thought we could do is over the next five, six, seven videos is we can have a look at how to use formal language compared to informal language. Now a lot of students who want to learn business English, they often ask, what is the difference between business English and general English? In reality, grammatically, there's not a huge difference, but you do need to know how to adapt your vocabulary and use formal vocabulary in formal settings, especially if you're doing an interview or a meeting or you're managing a team. Okay, it's very important to use slightly more formal uh, vocabulary, even when you're emailing, it's very important, okay? So what I've prepared today is three verbs which we use every day. So they're informal, they're natural English, we use them on a daily basis. Uh, and I'm going to give you their formal equivalent and how you can use them in a sentence, okay? So the first verb is get. Now I love this verb. All of my students, uh, I tell them sometimes when they're stuck and they don't know a word, I say use the magic verb because it works in so many situations, okay? So in this situation, if I said to uh, a staff member, I said, oh, did you get my email? Okay, which is fine. But if you want to be a little bit more formal, you could say, did you receive my email? Okay, did you receive my email? Okay, so we've got get and receive. Okay, so this is the informal and formal equivalent. Okay, so the second verb for today is need. Okay, to need. So, for example, I could say, um, John needs some help with his project. John needs some help with his project, okay? So, this is fine, but the formal version would be require, okay? So, John requires some help with his project, okay? So, you've got need and require. Now, the third and final verb which you can use, formal and informal, is to make sure, okay? Make sure. So the informal sentence would be, um, could you make sure that you contact all of the clients and make them aware of the situation, okay? So could you make sure to contact all of the clients and make them aware of the situation? This is perfect, this is fine. But even better in a formal situation is, could you ensure, okay? Could you ensure that you contact all of the clients and make them aware of the situation. Perfect. So we have get, which becomes receive. We have need, which becomes require. And we have make sure, which becomes ensure, okay? Now, this is it for today. In the next video, I'm gonna give you three more informal verbs and how you can use them in a formal situation. But remember, to practice your listening, head over to Teachify on Spotify and every week we upload two podcasts for you to perfect your listening and we talk about lots of different topics, okay? So have a good day. Bye.